In my newest garden bed, I tried to grow some Trilogy Bush Beans from Johnny's. These are from 2018, so if they don't pop up or they have less germination, it's not their fault. It's because um, I kept those seeds too long. But this year, after having a great year last year with green beans, I just want to grow a ton. And here I have some purple teepee bush beans that I also grew in that my newest garden bed, my Vigo bed. And I grew in front of those some giant double enchantress zinnia in order to bring a pop of color to that bed. And then I also grew some um, Cherokee wax yellow bush beans. I'm wondering how that tastes compared to the other beans. So it's going to be pretty because it's going to have some purple, some green, and some yellow beans in the same bed. As well as the pink flowers, the zinnias. And then I grew some cabbage early golden acre. I don't know if it will grow well because it's getting hot. Of course this is a cold season crop. But I'm going to try to um, trellis some tomatoes over top of it to give it some shade. I don't know if that will work, but it's worth a try because I want some cabbages to make my um, salad with. Hi friends, so I also washed all this I harvested today, but I have been harvesting the dill three times now and the mint three times now as well and washing them, drying them, and storing them for later use. Um, now, as far as the brassicas go, I've harvested them about 10 times. Five times in the front, five times in the backyard. I have it everywhere. I love brassicas. Um, so this is the purple of Sicily. <sighs> Look at how gorgeous that is. And then here is um, De Checo. And more purple of Sicily. And the leaves, I harvest those too. I triple wash these and um, I'm going to stir fry them. Uh, you could also harvest these and cut them up and freeze them as well. So you can eat them later. Um, also you can juice the leaves. Um, all kinds of stuff. But uh, so much. And I have so much of the brassicas that it's for the family as well as when the leaves get too tough and too mature then I give them to the chickens and I have enough to share between my poultry and my family. And this one here I believe is a purple of Sicily that is trying to go to flower or it's a cross between um, or it's the um, the Romanesco broccoli or um, cauliflower something like that but it's kind of oddly it has the purple and then it has the white so I don't know if it got crossed or what happened exactly but if you look at the purple of Sicily it's purple and then beneath it it's kind of that yellowish green so I have no idea what happened here but it's still in the Brasco family and there's nothing wrong with it um, so I'm definitely gonna eat that Hi friends, this is our newest Vigo Vigo gardening bed and um, I put in some beans, bush beans, Johnny's Trilogy and then on that side it's the T Baker Creek Purple TP. and then I put some cabbage in here and spaced them quite far apart and I know it's going to get hot so I put some tomatoes and I'm going to stick them up over top of the uh, cabbages. And then I have some various chili peppers, basil, and tomatoes. Hi friends, this is the front yard garden bed, Vega garden bed, and my sunflowers finally are blooming and the Topolino Sunflowers are wonderful. They're about two and a half to three feet tall and it's multi-branching, multi-flowers. So this this is just one plant. And I say there's two, four, six, 
18, about 20 flowers on this one plant. And then I have three of them here. I have some vegetables, some brassicas growing amongst the um, flowering plants. So I'm going to have to kind of um, cut some of the leaves out, harvest these broccoli heads, and make room for sunlight for the blooms. My poppies are about to bloom. I have various uh, things growing in here, various poppies. So this set of poppies is different from this one. I have Mazurkia zinnias, some marigold, red metamorph, and I have what I think is a lavender or a rosemary. I think I threw the rest of my rosemary seeds, which were old, thinking that they weren't going to grow, and I got one, I believe. It's very scented, but at the moment, I'm not able to tell if it's a rosemary. No, I actually can. I, well, it smells sort of like a rosemary, but sort of like a lavender. More brassicas going wild. More brassicas in this other bed that's going wild. And for some reason this spot gets sunlight, but it really struggled. So my zinnias are finally coming up. And I had a basil that looked like it was coming up, but it looks like it died off. Some seedlings there. Some seedlings. And over here is a bare spot other than those green onions because I pulled out the Napa cabbage. They were getting yucky. And um, I put in zinnia seeds and dahlia seeds. Some luminosa pink zinnias. Some snow white alyssum. A yellow dahlia. Some poppies. Some other kind of poppies. Guys, I didn't know they get so tall and I put quite a few seeds because they were tiny and it's looking crowded for the poppies. Some marigolds. Some calendula. A lot of bare spots that I seeded in January, in February, and in March. So I'm hoping things will pop up soon. I think that's a weed right there. Blue sky salvia. Some kind of mum or... I'm not sure what it is. Some more poppies. The Hungarian something or another. And... This looks like a weed. Ugh, not sure. <clears throat> because when I first saw um, poppies, poppy leaves, I thought they were weeds because they look so raggedy. But that's why I'm kind of afraid to pull out things. Lupin. And I forget what what this is called. This is also an alyssum, but it's like a pale purple and white. Really, really pretty. If I looked at this hairy looking bud, I would think that it's a weed. It looks kind of ugly <laughs> until you see the beautiful delicate petals. And then I'm not sure what kind of alyssum this is. It's like a pale purple and white, really delicate looking, really pretty. And Candy Stripes Cosmos. 
So in my newest beds, I have purple teepee, green, uh, purple teepee, basically green beans, beans, and they're bush beans. A tomato in there. What is this one? Okay, so that's the Patio Choice um, tomato. And that's the other Patio Choice tomato. And then over here, I kind of split it with this little stick, is the Johnny's Trilogy beans. And as you can see, there are a few bare spots, which was what I expected because the seeds were from 2018. So if they didn't pop up, I wasn't going to be too upset about it, but I tried to overseed this section here. And as you can see, it, did, it didn't sprout or germinate as many as over here, which were the newer seeds from Fairy Morse. And then I plugged in some seeds, English Time. I have um, Common Time, but I wanted to check out what English Time how it was different and over here where you see that it's bare other than a couple plants here and there but right there right there right there those are zinnias I planned on growing a bunch of zinnias in the front of this bed so people can see some flowers before they notice any vegetables <laughs> growing over here and over there I've got several cabbages, just four, and I plan to um, kind of trellis up the tomatoes to cover the cabbages so that they can grow because I know the summer is going to be pretty hot and I want um, some cabbages to make my salad and I gotta figure out some shady spots to grow more cabbage because this year I'm really into my salad that I that I have. And over here I've got a sweet pepper Chinese giant, some basil, lettuce leaf basil popping up, another giant, sweet giant pepper. I threw in seeds uh, a couple days later, common cilantro, coriander, so hopefully that pops up. This is three Sweet, pepper, sweet Peppers Rainbow Blend from Barry Morse. Siam Queen Thai Basil. Looks great. A Sweet Pepper, two of them. There's the Banana Peppers. And I don't know, oh here it is. <laughs> I didn't see the tag. It is the Pippin's Golden Honey um, sweet pepper. A couple tomatoes that are the super sweet 100 hybrid. Supposedly it's really sweet tomatoes and it makes each brack, each branch makes tons of tomatoes. And then I have Thai holy caprao basil which are popping up and Parsley, flat leaf, hopefully that comes up. And bouquet dill, that's popping up. And then basil, ever, ever leaf emerald towers. These are supposedly a very expensive, good variety because they just get taller and taller and make tons of foliage. Really scenty, and I love basil. Some fenugreek, some more chili pepper, hybrid, sweet, pretty, and sweet. Over here I have two purple tomatillos from Fairy Moore seeds, really, really growing nicely. This is my lettuce greens bed. It's shaped like a heart, this bed here. And I have um, several varieties, a romaine-like and um, a different 
It's like Paris Cos and um, I forget now the varieties. And then some Rocket. And then some Rocket. Here is my medicinal herb garden. It's a heart shaped bed, Vago bed. Um, a store bought basil, some green, bunch of green onions, chives, hyssop, um, hyssop here, bee balm, white whorehound, uh, lemon balm. Oh, it really smells like lemon. I'm gonna harvest some when it gets a little bushier and taller and make tea out of it. And true hyssop, a marigold of some sort, and this Long Island dill. Hi, friends. So I said that I wasn't going to grow okra this year, but I changed my mind because I don't have too many crops other than brassicas, which are going to not make it over the um, summer. So I need to grow some kind of um, green crop that I can cook and eat. So okra would be good in this area uh, where it's really hot. So I'm going to sow the seeds. I'm have a bed ready to go. So I sent my husband to the store to get some Clemson Spineless, which is a go-to uh, reliable one. I really like this Okra Emerald. And I'm going to sew it in this fire ring here. Um, it was my center fire ring in my enclosure so that things don't get to it. And I don't think they love Okra as much as I do corn, which I have corn seeds, but I'm gonna, um, I grew corn last year and successfully too, and they were really good, but I'm going to give it a break and um, grow something green, which they don't tend to eat as much or be drawn to. So I'm gonna sow it in this bed. I amended, it was old soil and I amended some new soil to it and I'm gonna probably put it's quite tall um, and b below it there is um there's soil too good soil so I don't think I'm going to add any more soil than what what there is already here it looks low but it's on top of a mound of dirt I opened the whole thing up and this is how the seeds look and I just Plug them in. Real easy. I'm gonna fill this whole bed with the two. I don't care if it's crowded. I know that it's gonna grow a lot. And it grows tall. It's too many seeds for that one bed. So I'm gonna pull up this uh, sort of brassica. Um, I think it was Chichi Misai or Tatsoi. And I'm just gonna pull it up. And I just throw these um, seed head things. It's probably gonna grow more of these in that bed because it just kind of all all the seed pods opened up but I'm going to throw this on the side the edge of my chicken run so things don't crawl into my chicken run and then if it spawns more plants over there that's fine with me and then I'm going to grow the okra seeds in this bed it's a wooden bed that we made a few years ago Really quick, I just cleared all the old debris to the edges, pulled up that branch, and just threw it to the side, and just plugged all the seeds in. Now I'm gonna water them in. Um, two packets that I sewn just took me like less than five minutes. Before I threw the brassica seeds and branch, and if it volunteers here, that's fine. If not, no big deal. But it's just a nice barrier here. And I'm going to, I put some I put some birdhouse gourd seeds in here too. And I'm going to water water that in. And hopefully it'll climb up the chicken running coop. 